Welcome back everyone, my name is Ms. Y. I work for the Boys and Girls of LA Harbor. I have to celebrate Black History Month. We're gonna be looking at the work of Bisa Butler. All right, so it's sweater weather tech right now. No, no. <laughs> it is sweater, <laughs> sweater, sweater weather. <laughs> So it is sweater weather here in SoCal, so please excuse my hood. Aside from that, it's not going to be as informal as my fit. Um, today we're going to be learning about, like I said, Bisa Butler, and this is one of the samples of her work. So she's actually a textile and fiber artist and an educator and, and a mom. She started quilting the fabric together to make these beautiful portraits to show the beauty of black lives and portraiture. Because it is Black History Month, I did want to use her as our sample artist. But today our subject will also be another black artist that I really like, which is Basquiat. We're gonna try this technique. I don't have much fabric and I am not a sewing boss like she is. I'm gonna try doing this with paper. Like I said, if you do not have different types of fabric, you can use a lot of paper or with patterns. I have a lot of scrapbook paper um, and like collaging paper. Aside from that, you're gonna need a reference image so you can print it or draw it. A pencil. We are going to be tracing our image. So being said, we're gonna need either tracing paper, anything like acetate or paper will do, scissors and some glue. So with your tracing paper, you're going to be tracing um, every piece of the face but as a separate thing and that's kind of hard to describe um, so I'm gonna just show you um, so if I want to trace the face I'm going to be just tracing the face itself without any detail and kind of going around everything else and I want everything to be an individual let's say it layer those of you guys who are savvy with like Photoshop think about it as having layers and then I'm gonna want to do layers of everything so the glasses, if you want the nose to be a different color, I would say trace the nose on its own. Everything that you want to be a different color, you have to trace it individually. Once you're done drawing all your little pieces, feel free to cut them out and then retrace them onto your patterned paper. Or you can do like I did where I just kind of just got the piece and the paper and cut it at the same time so it goes by a little faster. Um, so I did that already and I took the liberty to glue my smaller pieces together just so they don't uh, get lost. So I did this already and that's why I said to do each individual layer because everything will stand out more when they're in individual pieces. So that's his head. We have his hair, his jacket, and his shirt here. I already glued some parts together. So all I'm going to do is you can either just glue it on a new sheet of paper or on the paper that you have with the image just to kind of give you a guideline. I actually like using this instead because it does help me with placement. So I'm gonna finish gluing it and I'll show you how everything looks when we are done. This is the final product and I gotta say, it's nice. I'm really proud. <laughs> I hope you guys are proud of your work too. Um, if you guys would wanna get more detail, you totally can. This is just kind of the simplified version just for the sake of time. But I hope you guys like this project and I really highly recommend that you look up Bisa Butler's work. If you have any questions or would just like to show me your example, feel free to email me here. And if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe and we'll see you next week. Bye!